Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL S5 which is kind of a review of area and perimeter uh, except they are putting the shapes you are finding the area and perimeter of on the coordinate plane or, or the graph. Okay so really nothing new but instead of them handing you numbers like five meters or six centimeters or something um, they just give you a graph. So here for the first problem they give us a square uh, square u v w x and they ask us to find the area of it okay well like i've said all of the other videos i just go to um, google images type in area of shapes and there's a bunch of different formulas and worksheets here you can reference so if you ever need the formulas they're all right here you can look uh, so we're going to go back so remember the area of a square is just going to be the base times the height so the base looks like it's going to be one two three units and the height is going to be one, two, three units because the square is going to have the same lengths all the way around. So three times three is going to be nine. Okay, what's the area of the rectangle? Base times height, just like the square. So the base is one and the height is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one times ten is going to be ten. Triangle. Triangle is one half base times height, so we'll do the base times height and divide it by two. So it looks like the base is, and this is a very long way to count, so what might be better for you, especially in the long run, is to be able to read a graph and uh, uh, do some, some math based on the position of the coordinates. So this is what I mean. To find the length between x and w, we'll see that x on the uh, x-axis right here is at negative nine, and then we go all the way across the graph to W, which is at positive 10. So how do we get from negative nine to positive 10? Well, that's a difference of 19, right? So this, uh, the base is gonna be 19 units long. And then we'll do the same thing for W to Y for our height. So we start at negative 10 and we go all the way up to positive 10. So the difference between negative 10 and positive 10 is 20. So we have a height of 20. So we have a base of 19, we have a height of 20, and so we're going to multiply those together and divide by half. So what we're going to do that, we're going to go to the calculator. We'll go 19 times 20, and then divided by 2, or times 1 half, and that's going to be 190. So this triangle has an area of 190. Oh, so I wanted to show you that, especially in the uh, the earlier part of the IXL, they switch between perimeter and area. So this problem right here is asking for the perimeter of the rectangle. So remember the perimeter is just adding all of the sides together. So we have one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then from D to E, we have negative 10 to 10, so that's 20. So we're gonna do three plus three plus 20 plus 20, which is going to equal 46. Okay, again, what's the perimeter of this square? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, or eight times four is 32. Okay, what's the area? One times one is going to be one. Okay, so I'm gonna skip a little bit, but just uh, remember to look out for whether they're asking you for the area or perimeter here. Perimeter, you're gonna be adding all the sides together and the area is going to, you're going to be using your formulas. Um, do not mix them up. You'll be upset at yourself. You find the area of a shape when they ask you for the perimeter and it says you got it wrong. So area of a triangle, you already know that, base times height, then one half. So you get all the way to the end over here. Um, and they give you coordinates instead of giving you a uh, nice little diagram or graph. So. That's fine, um, I have Desmos up here. So what we'll do is we'll just plug these right into Desmos. So we'll have negative nine comma six. We have negative nine comma six. And then we have negative two comma six. So negative two comma six. And you don't need Desmos. Um, that's a really, really useful tool because otherwise you have to really graph it out yourself. Negative two, negative seven. Uh, but Desmos is, is a very cool uh, tool. I'm sure there's other ones out there. If you want to uh, to actually add the lines in, you can put them in a table. So we'll do negative nine 
6, and then negative 2, comma 6, and then negative 2, comma negative 7. So you can do it that way too, and then you just go to, let's see, lines, good. Okay, so there are the lines, and then you just have to add in the last one again. Just a little Desmo thing. Okay, so anyway, this is what our shape looks like. Um, again, you don't have to make the lines or anything, but it helps to visualize. So now that we have our shape, uh, we're just going to find the area, uh, or what did it ask for? The Yeah, the area of the uh, triangle here. So our base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so our height is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 7 and 13, and then we'll divide that by 2. So we'll go to the calculator, do 7 times 13, and then divide it by 2. That's going to be 45.5. So we go back over here, we type in 45.5, and then that is the correct answer. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop it. Uh, just know your uh, area formulas, know how to add all the sides together for a perimeter, and if they do not give you a graph, have something like Desmos up or just a piece of paper so you can write out the graph, plot the points, and figure out what the shape is that way. Okay, see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.